The following demo will explain how we can use ServiceNow.com to connect to a Salesforce.com chatter feed using Salesforce's REST-based API. Now, in order to demo this integration, we are going to leverage the out-of-box integration uh, that ServiceNow offers between Salesforce.com and ServiceNow. For more information on that integration, you can feel free to browse our wiki and search for Salesforce.com. Uh, you can have this uh, plugin enabled in your instance. Uh, this plugin, when it's installed and configured, it'll be set up such that when a Salesforce.com case is created, a corresponding incident will be created inside of ServiceNow. So we're going to leverage that such that when a case is created inside of Salesforce, we're going to create it inside of ServiceNow, but then enable us to interact with the chatter feed that's available for cases inside of Salesforce.com. So let's go ahead and browse over into Salesforce.com and let's go ahead and create a case. So I'm going to click on the Cases tab and click a new case. And I'm going to say this came in as an email. And this is an existing problem. I cannot see the accounts assigned to me. And we'll go ahead and save this case. Now if we come over into ServiceNow and view our active incident records, we'll see that our incident has shown up. I cannot see the accounts assigned to me. Let's go ahead and click in here as the ServiceNow technician. And now that since this is a Salesforce.com incident, meaning it's an incident created by Salesforce.com, we have this new button on the, fee, on the uh, form called View Chatter Feed. If we're to click that, a uh, dialog box pops up and shows the chatter feed for the incident. So let's just say, uh, when did this problem start? Question mark. And we will click update. This sends a REST based web service call over to salesforce.com to the chatter feed. We'll come here to the case and we'll need to refresh the case in this case. And there we see on the, on the feed, the chatter feed for this case is the, the uh, account system administrator asking when did this problem start. So we'll go ahead and respond. It started yesterday. Post that. Let's come back over to ServiceNow and let's watch this. As you can see, it updated uh, our chatter feed instantaneously and automatically. I did not have to refresh. Let's say I, I uh, go ahead and close this. Let's say I'm going to then log in as David Liu. And maybe David Liu is also looking at this uh, incident. So we'll go browse over to our incidents as David Liu. And we'll come into that incident. And David Liu is going to view the chatter feed. And he can see that the system administrator has already asked uh, when it started. And the response was it started yesterday. He's then going to ask what time did it start? Question mark. And he'll click update. Then we'll browse over to the Salesforce ticket. And as you can see here, the David Liu appears here as, as what time did it start? Uh, for the this demo, I'm using a demo salesforce.com instance, which only gives me one user account that can access uh, cases and chatter feeds on those cases. So we're showing uh, the same user in all these cases. But uh, with the integration, if we were using different users, we'd have a ServiceNow integration user uh, coming through, and the ServiceNow user's name would show up in these parentheses as they do as they do here. Uh, but the users inside of Salesforce would look different. They would have their, their own Salesforce.com profiles. Uh, we're just seeing that just due to the license limitations that I have with my Salesforce account. That's it for the demo of the integration between ServiceNow and Salesforce's chatter feeds. For detailed information on how to download and configure this proof of concept integration for your own instance, feel free to go to my website, uh, www dot john dash james dash anderson dot com and search for the keyword chatter thank you once again